day crafty chums it's Nikki here and welcome to 30 days of the napkin challenge use your stash um, so this is uh, number 27 day 27 that's napkin and recycle plastic and I was just um, had my granddaughter over this weekend and I was just r rinsing out this uh, milk carton to go in the um, recycling bin because we have you know we have recycling bins here that get taken away every fortnight so you know you rinse out your stuff and you put it in the recycling and um what i noticed uh, was <laughs> i thought oh my goodness this actually is quite a big a big container and it may or may not be six inches so what we're going to do is we're going to give this a go and um and we're going to reuse this and just see we will see um see we will see if this is going to work out or not so i'm just going to mark around here in um uh i don't know what, what goes on here let's see let's see if i can get something to mark on here I actually thought I had a sharpie, but maybe not. <laughs> so let's just mark here and uh, let's do it like this, and we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm going to see if I can cut this straightish. <laughs> see if I can or not. And then we'll see whether it's going to be the right size. It's still a little bit wet on the inside, but I'll dry that off as we, uh, as I get on it a little bit more. I am just marking it because, uh, because I, because I am. <laughs> okay, because I am. Just makes me happier if I just sort of like it. That'll be a little bit off then. If I can just sort of guess it rather than just guess it, just get kind of like a line that works or not. I'm trying to kind of get it from the flat. I don't know whether that work. Let's see. I can always straighten it up after, can't I? Okay, start this off with my um, Stanley blade if I can find it. Stanley, where are you? this works or not. <laughs> this is a guesstimate. <laughs> need to be cut down a little bit more so I've got the basic shape there now haven't I and so now I've just got to refine it dry this out and then I'm going to give it a good rinse out now and just dry it out and then uh, see whether it fits my 6x6 six six pads. Okay so um, 
I've just cleaned it out a little bit more and um, I've just got a 6x6 pad there and it does fit which is lovely so then that means I can move on to the next stage <laughs> okay so what I'm going to do is just go around the edges and just tidy up a few few of the few of the bits and pieces and I know that this actually needs to be made just a little bit shorter so that's what I'm going to do there doesn't need to be as tall as that and uh, that's fine and what I'm just going to do also is uh, before I start with my napkins is I am just going to go just cut off that edge there sticky out a bit so I'm just going to go around the edging in masking tape This will just um, seal off the edges, won't it? You could do this in washi if you wanted to. So I've got this awesome um, napkin here, really funky man, boho I would call it maybe. And as I was separa separating it out, I could see that the under um, one of the backing napkins actually is uh, is quite, uh, it's got a nice little thing on as well. So I'm going to cover the inside of this one with the backing paper and then go around the outside with the um, with the patterned um, napkin so um yeah this is what I'm going to do that's the plan it's the plan of action so um of course because you know that the napkins will go um, more transparent as uh, as you use it so we'll um, whiten up the inside by putting the backing paper in it okay so you know the drill if you have watched any of the other 26 52 because Eileen's been doing them as well napkins you should napkin stash you'll know the drill on how to Use your napkins. <laughs> so I am actually going to use quite large pieces for this. Because I don't have to paper piece them small. This bit is um isn't going to show too much, but um it does need to be quite firm. So uh because it'll have um the paper pads going in, in and out and in and out in and out. <laughs> So there we go. That's how I'm going to be doing this. I'll come back when I've got the inside covered and then I'll just show you the first couple of pieces on the outside. So I'll be back when I've got the whole of the inside covered. So I've finished gluing my um, 
my recycled plastic plastic and napkin uh, little design paper holder there and it's actually very pretty and um, once it's fully fully dry I'll be able to pop in the 6x6 six six pads in there Yeah, I've got quite a few 6x6 six six paper pads and that so I will be able to pop them inside once it's completely dry and have a very handy little um, holder for my 6x6 uh, six six designer paper so as you see they fit in there just nicely so um, so yeah I'm looking forward to um, having this out on the side uh, with my design papers in making them more accessible for me to use it's a shame I put the black line there I could hide that but I'm not going to and um, I'm actually going to make more of these once I get some more of these uh, milk containers so yeah fab love it awesome awesome sauce great make love that one I'll leave all, all relevant information in the uh, description box below and all links in the doodly dads after um, after uh, this finishes, you know, they'll be there and there, sorry, there and there and there and yeah, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do, I appreciate it, please leave me a kind, oh, please leave me a kind comment as well, but only if you really want to. Um, yeah, it's nice if you do though. So that's great. I love it. It's a shame I did. It's a shame I did that stupid pen mark thing. But never mind. Next one I won't. <laughs> Live and learn. Live and learn. <laughs> so thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.